as you can see, we're back home in uh, Costa del Mansfield. So, uh, just going to show you where about we are. Well, that's Mansfield for you. So, we've arrived back home and we had a little incident on, at the airport. Going through the customs and obviously putting your trays and all your items on top of your stuff as you're sliding them through, we lost something. We lost a few things. So, as you put on the grey trays and you're going through the airport and you're going through your bags, Janet left some uh, electronics, straighteners, curlers. So they made him take them out the bag, go back through and scan them again. So that's what she did. She scanned them back through and they didn't come through the conveyor belt. So we waited 20 minutes, asked them, looked on the other side, they disappeared, completely disappeared. When we realised that they wasn't going to come through, we was rushed and pushed in there. We had to leave them. Couldn't find them anywhere. So anyway, uh, a few other little bits and bobs went but of no value, but still, just check what's coming through. Make sure you're checking your items as they're coming through the conveyor belt, because otherwise you're going to lose them. So, we got back and messaged Jet2 to see what's the process and how do we go about retrieving our items or claiming off the insurance. The excess is 200 quid anyway. The items was worth about 300 quid. Now, I reached out to a few people who work and live and are on YouTube in Tenerife, which I didn't expect a response while I got. I was asking, did they know anybody who's coming over uh, that could go to the airport for us? And, uh, I can't believe what happened. So Jet2 gave us a telephone contact number for the airport and uh, yeah. that was to phone Tenerife Airport South. So Jan asked for an email, so we got the email. Sent over some pictures of the items what had gone missing and what flight number was on. Uh, what zone early we was in and they sent the day after how quick it was they sent a form through which I'll put up now what it's like and at the bottom it says if you want a courier to pick them up like DHL or something like that which was going to be long winded so I reached out to this person to see if he knew anybody who was coming over. I reached out to a couple, three, three people and uh, two of them come back. Um, and this, uh, this gentleman and his wife have kindly offered to go and collect them for us. Just while we're here, I'm just gonna show you what uh, the market stalls are looking like in Mansfield. And I'll carry on with my story. I think this is the busiest I've ever seen Mansfield. Word of warning is, when you put your stuff in the trays and they ask you to send them back through, make sure that you get them. Watch them, stay with them. I mean, they was putting things out of one tray back into another tray and sending them through. I mean, I had, uh, bloody hell, I had a bag full of electronics. They never even emptied my bag. They just took me, I took my drone out, my iPad and everything. But I had cameras in the power banks but they never even attempted to take them out yeah they made jan take us back out of a hand luggage put them back through the tray send them back through to make them disappear 
Now that was a magic trick, because we never even seen it happen. So anyway, this form's come through, and what you've got to do on that form, what you can see, what you've got to fill in, your flight, well, we've, put, we've added the flight number on ours, and the zone, and our passport number, and then, you've got to have the person who's going to collect it, put their passport, and a proof of copy, false copy of the passport, added with the email. And then also, add in, the items which have gone missing, which we did. Even the pound shops have gone to one pound twenty-five shops. When we went to Tenerife, we basically took a few presents over for people that we always watch on YouTube over there, like the Scotsman Tenerife and Daniel uh, Crackmaster. Uh, Rick and Shelley, just Rick, and uh, some of the staff in uh, Crackmaster's shop, uh, Tenerife First Excursions. So we took them a few uh, gifts over there, some sunglasses basically, and uh, I reached out to them once we found out this, like, these things had gone missing. I'm going to put a picture up of what they are now, what went missing, how could we miss them? you couldn't miss them so basically they, they just disappeared um, so we reached out and uh, Rick and Daniel the crack master said they would pick them up Rick said he'd do it first obviously Daniel said uh, if he can't if Rick can't do it he'll do it for us on Sunday now the good thing is Rick's coming back over to the UK on Saturday, he's emailed us this morning and said, uh, sent us his proof of his passport, and we've uh, added it into this document so Rick can go to the airport and hopefully pick the items up and bring them back with him on Saturday. Now, how kind and how considerate of him and Shella, because obviously Shella's his, his partner and she's. Uh, They've done it. I can't I just can't believe how, what they've done for us. So I'm going to put a, like a link at the end of his uh, of this video, and you'll see who uh, Rick and Shelley is. If you've not watched them, subscribe to them. Um, absolutely brilliant. To bend over backwards as well for us is uh, unbelievable. So uh, keep watching, and we'll give you an update of what happens when they do come back. And hopefully Rick does some sort of video while he's over there and he'll show you how he's got him and what he's done. But if he's not, I'm still going to put a link at the end of the video um, of Rick and Shelley's uh, channels. So, the model is basically, make sure that you're checking them trays, don't be rushed, don't get rushed by them. Uh, make sure you get all your items, retrieve everything. And uh, it was, it's hectic. It's the Tenerife South Airport, the new terminal. It, it absolutely brilliant, but Jet 2, the woman who was on the phone with us, it's as if she just woke up, couldn't be bothered, and uh, it's not going to call Jet 2 for it. It's for one person to be how she was on the phone. Oh, well, you left. I don't know what you're going to do. You don't want that attitude. You want a bit of help and support. But... Um, Hopefully, we'll get there in the end. So, keep watching. And obviously, I'll update you what happened and if we got the uh, everything back, what we wanted and what we, we'd lost. But Rick Shelley, absolutely brilliant. Couldn't, can't thank him and can't thank Shelley enough for what they've done. Um, Rick's going to bring them back over with him and then uh, he's going to post him out for us when he's in the UK obviously I'm going to pay him for the postage and everything uh, I just can't thank you I, I, it's put my faith in mankind so keep watching and we'll see what the outcome is